Okay, I think we're live. Okay, I think we're live. Okay. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to make sure the audio was working. Greetings, everyone. Let me see here. Yo, sword. Welcome to the stream. Awesome to fucking have you here, man. Uh, miss your streams. All right, give me those sweet Dark Souls strats, Lord. Tim. I will definitely be trying. We'll be uh, doing that here shortly. All right, let me get the game open real quick. How's everyone doing today? It yeah, seem a little random at the moment, um, but I want to start doing at least a stream, uh, a couple streams each month, starting uh, this month. Um, at least we do one end of month stream and one mid month stream, um, minimum. And we'll probably be doing a little bit more um, streams in general. Um, so let me adjust the volume on this game so that it doesn't explode. And I'll start streaming the game. All right, we'll have it about six or yeah, about there. So it should be fine. And there we go. Yo, everyone. Sorry, excuse me while I uh, get this all set up. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Fuck bitches, get paid dollar, bi dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Uh, yo, Snick, yo. Uh, yo, Joe Bullet Thief. Yo, Hayon Puds. Uh, yo, uh, Yo, Smo, Schmo. Uh, also, yo, Regenerations. It's been a while since one of these. Yeah. So, um, I wanted to start, um, like I said earlier, doing at least one stream every, uh, I'm sorry, at least two streams every month. Um, and possibly more. We'll kind of see how that goes. But at least two each month. One in the middle and one at the end. Um, what should we name this character? I'll just call him, uh, let's see. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go, now, we're gonna go with, um, basically pure, like, big ass guts build, all strength, for this one. Um, which is kind of my normal, casual uh, sort of playthrough. And we won't fuck around with the character too much since, uh, you know, he, uh, you can't really get him to look all that good in uh, Dark Souls 1 anyway, so. Sick. Invade some people. We'll see. We may invade some people. Uh, yo, Nato 2008. 
the world Hello, I feel so like I am the only one watching shrouded this right. Well, fall. clearly not. There's some other people here as well. Um, crags, but yeah, uh, we'll be playing rain. like different games um, each month. Um, but also but the bigger plan fire. here is for anyone familiar with my and YouTube Dumpster fire. Dive series, which I started this year. Um, we'll also be doing like live dumpster dives where we just like look at a bunch of weird, interesting, or cringe videos and the like. Um, and possibly look at a few viewer requested ones as well. But, um. Let's see. Then from the dark. We're just going to skip the cutscene. Um. I've played Dark Souls 1 probably like, I don't know, I think I've beaten it all the way through like seven or eight yes, times at this point, so it's a pretty like casual one to kind of start off with. The undead. My usual go-to is a strength build, though I have done at least one pure magic build, um, one um, sort of holy magic slash dexterity build which was a pretty fun one i did once like a pure like pyromancy type build um that was also quite fun as well um but yeah Overall, Dark Souls is still unmatched in my opinion. Yeah, it's a it's it's a fucking banger of a game. Um, I was gonna ask who all here has played through the original, um, or at least the first Dark Souls. Can I find it on Steam? Dark Souls? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like you can get like. All the from software games on Steam, pretty much. Well, okay, I say all of them. You can't get Bloodborne, but yeah, no. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the donation, um, Cancer. Two dollars. Favorite Souls game? Oh, that's really, really difficult. Um, probably my. That's. I tend to change my mind a lot on this, but. If we're counting just the original trilogy, probably the first one, but the third one is extremely close. Like, I change my mind sometimes from playthrough to playthrough. If we're talking, like, all of the Souls-like whatever from FromSoft, um, probably my favorite is Elden Ring. It's one of the only games I can think of that's, like, over 100 hours long. That I, like, after the first playthrough, I immediately just jumped into the second playthrough instantly. Because it just, like, had so much fun with it. Um, so, yeah. Probably Elden Ring is my overall favorite. And then, after that, it's like a bit of a toss-up between one and three. Um, depending on my mood. Uh, all right. This guy's just stuck in the wall, I guess. That's cool. Um, I remember there was... And Demon Souls. Oh, yeah. Demon Souls isn't on there yet, either. Um, so, just wait for Bloodborne Demon Souls. Sony has been uh, bringing tons of this to the PC. Yeah, they probably will end up on PC eventually. Um, but I have a cool recommendation for trying to search uh, for some old videos put before 2006 and beyond. The find a treasure trove. Oh, uh, please, by all means, go ahead and um, send your recommendation. It probably would be at best to like send it in like a comment or something so that I can like remember to go get it. Um, but, uh, yeah. 
Dark Souls is one of those games you gotta experience before death, like Hong Kong 97, crazy that. Yeah, I can guess so, yeah. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. If I die soon, then I lose my sanity. I wish to ask something. Maybe Demon Souls. You and I, we're both playing. It's PC port, it's running, it's gotta be Demon Souls versus. I see. Fucking. Regrettably. Uh, Bloodborne on Steam is but almost a meme by now, but I still wish Sony would consider. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, it, the the problem is that it's probably gonna be like a uh, remake at this point. Um, whenever they do uh, do it, so yeah, no, it's not just gonna be a straight. But that's probably what's taken so long, to be honest. Um, Probably gonna be a remake slash remaster, whatever. Um, it'll probably go to the PlayStation 5 and then eventually PC, maybe both at the same time, whatever, you know. We'll see how it goes, I suppose. First boss, we gotta get this fucking fat ass. Pretty simple. Only in the ancient legends it is dated. Uh, if you never played Dark Souls Regenerations, um, I really wouldn't be intimidated by it. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. A lot of that is just kind of like overhyped and build up to some degree. Dark Souls is one of those games where when you first play it, it can be pretty hard, just cause like you gotta like get used to it. Um, but there comes a point pretty quickly if you just are persistent enough where it's like oh i kind of get this now and then it's like a lot easier at that point um so i think the difficulty it's a hard game don't get me wrong but i think the difficulty of them are a little are a little overhyped sometimes um to the point where it can actually be a little scary to get into it but it's not that bad I see. <laughs> I'll try not to judge you too harshly for that. Um, so we're just go like I said, we're just going strength build. So basically, we're just gonna uh, for this build, we got we don't gotta think about much. We just gotta go unga boonga and level up our health and our strength and a little bit of endurance. Maybe a tad of dexterity if there's like a weapon that requires that, but that's about it. Well, what do we have here? Meat to steal a new arrival. Let me guess. Wait till the um, uh, since you are on the Linkara run, will you cover winter? Yes, I will. Yeah, I plan on covering the winter of '83. Um. Especially because I'm very interested because I've I, I've not seen anything of the winter of '83, um, but I've heard from a lot of people. Um, this is actually not bad. Um, this is actually kind of good, and so I am genuinely very interested to um, see what's up with that. Um, 
I hope it is good. Be kind of cool if he like is making like new shit and it's like cool and good and stuff. I'll go uh, give my full thoughts on that when I get to it. Speaking of the Linkara stuff too, um, you probably noticed already. I'm almost done with his books at this point. We just need um, like uh, I think I gotta get that sword. Um, we just need to get through the last book, and the script for the last book video is currently, we might die here, um, is currently, let's see if we can clutch through without dying, okay, we're good, we're good, um, uh oh, shit, we're gonna die, nope, we're still dead, okay, that's fine, you just need to get the sword, um, but, um, the, uh, the script for the last book is halfway done already. Um, I will be finishing that up here very soon. Um, I should be out by like the like sometime this week, basically. Um, probably, like probably by this week, this next weekend, if not a little sooner. Um, it is the shortest book of the batch, so um, you know. I need the. I gotta get 24 strength and one more in dexterity. So we can do that. Let me see. Um. Unga Boonga is how I play all these games. Yeah. Let me see. Um. Judge me. It's fine. I'm just fucking around. Uh, I'm one of those Dex guys, but Oonga Boonga is fine too. Dex can be fun too. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've played a, the Dark Souls 1 and 3 a lot of different ways. Um, and Elden Ring a little bit to that degree too. And it's quite fun too. Um, it's really alright. Yeah, I was quite super wrong. My brain can't handle his books. Um, yeah. Um... No, they are a lot to get through, for sure. Um, I will also, of course, be uh, making, like, a compilation video once all the book videos are done. Um, for those that want to listen to it all at once, um, be quite the journey. This last book is pretty interesting, though, I will say, without spoiling things. Um, he was, uh, I'll just say he was cooking in a couple areas. I'll leave it at that. Um, then after that, we will officially be getting into the uh, Lightbringer. I know many of you are excited for that, so um, I plan on covering that in full um, afterward. Then we'll finally get into like his videos, and at that point it'd be stuff like later, like Winter of 83, that sort of stuff. You got me into creepy pastas, and now I'm uh, starting my own creepy pasta channel. Thanks for the huge inspiration and stuff. That's awesome. That's super awesome, Phantasm. I wish you luck on that. Um. Oh, that's sick. Um. Any new games you've been playing recently? Uh. Yes, actually. Now that you mention it, I played. A, I just recently beat a game that came out like. Um, two days ago, it's an indie RPG, um, called, uh, Velvedeek. Um, you can find it on Steam, and, um, I'll probably end up streaming that game, like, next month, because it's really, really fucking fun. Very charming. Um, would highly recommend giving it a try. It's kind of got, like, a, a, uh... Kind of like a comedic, like psychedelic 
type thing going on. It's Kino stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a game I recently played. Um, there's other games I want to get to here soon. Like, I want to get the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I haven't, like, uh, taken the time to do that as of yet. Um, mainly just because um, I've been kind of busy with videos, if you haven't noticed. Um, you know, so I've been pretty preoccupied with my own projects and stuff. So, um... They've kind of like bigger games and time investments like that have taken a bit of a back seat, but I will eventually uh, play some more. Just for, for fun. Maybe I'll even stream some of them. We'll see. We'll see. So happy you're back. Well, thank you. I never went anywhere after Andy <laughs> uh, If you mean by streams, then yeah, it has been a little bit since I've been a stream, but um, I'll be doing those a lot more often. Um, uh, eight hours link car or brain raw is great. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. It's uh. I won't lie, by the time I was, like, done reading all the Linkara books, I was, like, just, like, done. Um, so that took forever. And I basically have to read them all at least twice for the sake of, like, kind of, like, when I'm, like, uh, reading the first time, taking notes, and then um, kind of a second time when I'm going back over for the script um, for the actual video and stuff. Um, so if you can, be sure to check those out. Uh, very interesting. Seeing his, uh, I guess, lose his evolution as a, uh, creator. Love your video. Th well, thank you, uh, SKG4. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy my stuff. Oh, um, wait, I think you missed. you through red car okay well sick um yeah i know quite a few people um learned about my channel through that um and like my abgn uh retrospective and stuff um i know they recently talked about um possibly bringing me on to talk about um linkara and stuff might take them up on that we'll see By the way, how's everyone doing this Easter? It is Easter, in case well, I didn't know. How y'all uh how y'all doing this Easter? You doing anything special? Did anything with your family or whatever? Just kinda chilling. You know the only Souls game I've played and beaten too. You know what's funny? I do I I uh I think it started on Neo once, but uh that was back on the PlayStation 4 and I never finished that playthrough. Um one of these days I might get back to it. Like on PC. Oh fuck. Wow. Well that was sad. 
Um. <laughs> oh well. Over here, though. Um, let me uh, use a couple of these. So there, this area will kind of become better later on. Uh, and Kindle. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm a family. For now, if I had Chinese takeaway and ate too much, and now I'm bloated, totally worth it. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, felt it, yeah. Depending on how you feel about farming sims, I'd tune in for Chill Stardew Valley stream. Um, I'm, uh, those games can be kind of fun. Um... I don't know if I would stream them personally, but, um, you know, they're not bad. But I do, I, I did play some Stardew Valley back in the day. Uh, let me see here. Chilling, watching the stream, feeling sick right now. Oh, sick. Or, sorry, sick. <laughs> N not, I'm, I'm glad you're watching the stream, fucking sorry about you being sick, though. Hope you get better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, hey, yo, uh, Matt, tr uh, Tree? Ma or Matt Terry. Oh, fuck. Wasn't paying attention. Yo, Matt Terry. What kind of build you rocket? I'm doing a, like, all strength, like, Oonga Boonga. Um, Bill at the moment. Basically, just like well, the stats and the strength, that sort of thing. That's usually my default. In these games, I usually start off as like just go pure strength and kind of see the all the whole game like that, and then I'll play at least a second playthrough where I go full magic. I'm going all the way. I'm I'm getting all the spells. I'm using all the fucking shit. I'm like gonna like try not to use any weapons at all. We're going all fucking magic, and that's always a super fun way to do a second playthrough. Um, so yeah, really enjoy that. Strength is fun. Yeah, strength is really fun. Um, strength is like a good way to like, at least for me, to get get a good like starting basis of the game. Um, We got him. Sick. Uh, all of these undead ain't got like no riz, bra. Like, look at these manlets. With their little twig limbs, not very impressive. The mog such epic fail. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> you're right. They do. They don't got no riz. You're right. They're uh. They're they're, they're lacking pretty uh pretty badly. Gotta say. Yo, Nova Nebula. Welcome to the stream. 
I have to go for sorceries on my first playthrough and then beefy s uh, cleric second. That's, that's respectable. I love the idea of having magic weapon damage that scales with it. Yeah, no, that's really... that. No, that shit is amazing. All right, we are now for the Sun Bros. We're like, you know, got that shit done. All right, so now we're gonna uh, fucking get hit by a dragon. Is what's gonna happen. Now, some of you guys may not be aware of this, because a lot of y'all saw the, the dragon. A lot of people get stuck on the dragon. And they try to go downstairs, and then they get hit by the rat tunnel. And I get it, the rat tunnel is kind of kind of sucks. You know, the fucking... Who likes the fucking rat tunnel, where they can bite you in two hits and you get poisoned, you know? Kind of a dangerous part of the game. That being said, you can actually just stand here for a minute. And, uh... Take a much safer route. I'll show you what happens. In case, uh, some of you might already know this, in, in which case, cool. You're like a pro gamer or whatever. But, uh, you know. If you'll like, do the thing. Come on, dragon, do the thing. Do the thing, dragon, do the thing. Well, hopefully he'll do it in a minute. Because, uh, you know. That'd be unfortunate if he made me look like a complete dumbass, but. Come on. Man, is this dragon just like, oh, oh shit, we're, 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 we're cooked. No, we're not. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I think you gotta like get him to do that once maybe. Hopefully that will do it. Sometimes this can be a little bit weird for whatever reason. He's supposed to come down, but he doesn't seem to be coming down. I guess I'll read the chat for a minute and see if it comes down in a fucking second. Um, more like dragging these nuts. Jolly cooperate. Yeah, fucking. Um, have you ever done a Nickelodeon slash Disney or Kit Cartoon Network? Um, Iceberg? No, I've never done that. Um, probably not something I would do if I'm being real just because I think it's been done a lot it's not really like my thing as much I mean I you know I like some cartoon classic cartoons and stuff but I don't know probably not good wouldn't be my thing um have you tried Penny's Breakaway yet I've not no um but it does look pretty fun easy soul farming shoot he sounds like uh, speaking of Nick my childhood is ruined forever after watching the document yeah, I did watch, um, I did watch that, um, I'm, I'm probably just gonna die here then. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. So normally what's supposed to happen is he's supposed to, like, come down, and then you can, like, roll underneath him, but for some reason he never did that, so, whatever, we'll just do this then, I guess. You learn, you, <laughs> no Dark Souls playthrough is ever the fucking same. How it be sometimes. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's level up some. Get that high roll there. Uh, yo, Lennon, the beanie so hacker. Welcome. Good to see you. Adventure time. Have you read uh so hunter? No, if not. I've never even heard of that, to be perfectly honest. We're 
almost there. I can use this eye to get over there. Almost, almost. Try these games more. I love the atmosphere and the plot and the power recognition combat right up my alley. Yeah, no, they're really, really good. Super fun games. Um, they're definitely some of my favorite, uh, kind of just like sit back and relax sort of game. I know that sounds crazy. Like, some of you are like, you know, whatever this is like very stressful. I get that. They definitely can be very stressful games when you're like first learning them and stuff. Um, but, uh, they are also, when you, like, get used to them, they are extremely, um, like, fun kill sorts of games. Come on, baby. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I'm just stab this pig right up this fucking ass one more time. try invading I have before yeah it's you know it's not usually my thing to invade um just because I tend to like kind of play these games more like single player experiences more often than not um either that or I'm like helping people I'm more of that sort of guy but I have done invasions before and it can be pretty fun um you know Uh, yo, Cherry, welcome. Almost big boy time. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Had them on PlayStation, but other games, Jacuzzi or Lately, uh, have consumed my life. Yeah, fair enough. I've heard that's really good. Uh, there's a very special feeling of euphoria associated with beating a Soulsborne boss. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, uh, I get that with any game where it's, like, very, uh, difficult and, um, you know, you just, like, Accomplish the task, that sort of thing. It's Kino stuff. Gotta watch the new Godzilla X Kong movie. I'll either be one of the most mad movies, the funniest shit ever, based on the clip when the movie posts online. Yeah, I do want to watch that eventually. Um, uh, I recently I watched uh, Godzilla minus one was super fucking good. Um, probably one of the best like Godzilla movies ever made, actually. And that's saying something because I'm a really big Godzilla fan, and I've seen all the movies multiple times. Um, but, uh, Minus One's really good. I definitely want to see, uh, Godzilla X-Kong. I know a lot of people have been kind of shitting on it. Not, like, not having seen it, but more so because it looks like a really goofy movie. Um, but, uh, you know, I kind of like the contrast. We get, like, a super serious, like, really well-made fucking, like, masterpiece of a Godzilla movie with like minus one and we get like a really like you know like super fun um oh shit oh uh like showa era godzilla movie wow I'm like really giving this guy a lot of there we go if all else fails just get up behind their ass and you know do what you will um but yeah it looks really fun to me um, very reminiscent of, uh, the, like, 
60s, 70s Godzilla films, um, where it's just like a lot of fun, just like pure monster fights and personality. So, looking forward to it. Alright, well, we're just gonna like, we're just gonna run to the bonfire. Let's just get on out of here. Yeah, I would parry that guy, by the way. I just don't have a shield at the moment. Um, did play, like, a whole playthrough where it was just, like, shield and rapier. Just complete, like, parry all the way. And that was a super fun playthrough. Really like that. But, uh, we can't parry the today, boys and girls. We're just doing strength. Oonga boonga. No parry. Um, let's see. Opinions. You can read it. Invading is hard, but it can be satisfying. Yeah, it can be really fun. Thoughts on monster films? Um, in general, um, uh, I, I like most, quite a few of them. 2014 Godzilla, pretty good movie. Does the t does a terrible mistake of killing its most interesting character halfway through the movie. Brian Cranston character. That kind of sucks. Um, but definitely not bad. Godzilla King of the Monsters, really, really good movie. Really loved that one. Only negative was that one guy that was like, saying Godzilla or whatever that was like corny as fuck and I hate that and I hate that guy um uh Kong Skull Island also pretty fun movie Godzilla X Kong I'm sorry Godzilla versus Kong rather really good movie lots of fun um yeah some general thoughts I like them generally speaking I think my favorite of the bunch is probably Godzilla King of the Monsters it's got like Ghidorah and shit and Rodan and whatnot so very very fun um, Dylan, do you ever feel like doing the jiggy? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Um, Godzilla is awesome. Amazing. Shin Godzilla is also amazing. Yeah, Shin Godzilla is also amazing. Good time to be a Godzilla fan. It is. It is always. It's, it's a very good time to be a Godzilla fan. Sense Fortress Triumph. Not yet. No Sense Fortress yet. Not yet. Don't need the shield. Don't need a shield. Um, style on the Lord Dylan. Send them to the crazy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um,. Yes, do a little dance. Shake that ash. I see. Uh, fucking. What the fucking. What did he. You know what I'm um. I have not played Skyrim. But no. Yeah, uh, I played Skyrim a fair bit back in the day. It's been, like. You know, kind of forever since. I've, uh. Played Skyrim. Um, last playthrough was like with a lot of mods and stuff. It's, it was pretty good. I'll be honest. I kind of I'm a little over a lot of the Bethesda games at this point um, Notably, I don't know. There's just I it just I played them a fair bit and now I'm like You know if they make another good one cool. I'll play that one, but Yeah You doing is, is why I handle it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually Thank you for reminding me. I should probably level up and um, see if I can use the Swy Handler yet. Because, yeah, that's uh, my general thing with the strength build is I will use the axe and then I'll use the Swy Handler and then I will get onto the gr the big ass gut sword. Um, so, not yet. Almost. We're almost to the fucking. My handler. We should be able to get that just by killing the the, gar the bell gargoyles real quick. So yeah, then I just like level up the big ass gut sword, um, and that carries me through the rest of the game. Some good shit. Um, actually, real quick, uh, we should. Godzilla has a 
that book. Uh, both Marvel and DC Comics, especially. I've never actually read the Godzilla comics. I know there's a lot of them. Um, just look kind of cool from what I've seen. I know Linkara reviewed one of them, famously. Ah. Uh, so. I do know about that one pretty intensively, so. Alright, sick. Um, also, no, no, we'll go, we'll go back here in a minute. The, the Hall of Pink Bros. Oh shit. They're like buff. That's funny. <laughs> he really fucked himself with. Uh, cool. Alright. Guy, I'll, uh, uh, got to, yeah, basically. Uh, right now, Xbox is falling off the rails because Sweet Baby Ink and con uh, con yeah, yeah, you know, there do be a bit of a Gamergate 2 going on at the moment, you know, as they say, pretty funny, <laughs> I gotta admit, I find it all very entertaining, um, good friend of mine said they were well worth the read, um, oh, okay, cool, don't hurt Goliath in Brooklyn, uh, from, like, David Xanathos, yeah, um, we're gonna, like, because, uh, wait, uh, I'll play that, we can, like, it's like, what the fuck is that? Oh, just like human people. I see. Um, the German version they called Die Schnell Gargoyles. Uh, I, I don't know. I think so. Hey, right, sick. All right, we're gonna we're gonna like summon uh our bro Solaire. We don't need him, but it's all about oh shit. Uh. Cool. All right, we got like we're, we are being invaded at the moment. Oh fuck! I was not expecting that. I think we're fucking fucked, bros. I'm gonna be real with you. I would never have expected to have been fucking gotten right there. Okay. Well. Fuck. Oh well. That's the way it goes sometimes. I tried swinging at him at the beginning there, but uh, my uh, hits didn't quite go through. That's another reason I'm not like a big fan of um the uh, PvP in these games. Sometimes is um hit detection can be very uh sus how we say um 
But still, that was still mostly just me being uh, kind of bad in the moment and not knowing what to do. So, again, can't blame it all on the game's lag. to run there early, but uh, we just kill these guys. Alrighty, let's go at that again. And uh, we, I was gonna be like, we can have like our, our best bro, fucking Solaire, come in and fucking help us. That'd be sick. Never mind. Fuck Solaire. We're not doing. We, we we don't need him anyways. No, just kidding. I like uh, Solaire's cool. Fucking. Guess we're not doing that. Oh shit. Uh oh, I can get hit by that. Can't get greedy. Oh shit! Don't die! Oh, don't die! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's all chill. It's all chill. Oh fuck! It's not chill. Shit. Oh wow. Almost first try. Where these guys got the Taco Bell lava sauce? Yeah, they do. <laughs> you know what? Alright. Time to talk about something I think is very interesting. For years now. I have heard people talk about fucking Taco Bell, you know, about how um, Taco Bell's like gives them fucking like terrible, like it's just, like terrible time in the bathroom, you know. Um, how much they regret eating fucking Taco Bell. And uh, I gotta be real with you, I d I've never, uh, I've never quite understood this. You guys, like, what's wrong with you guys' asses, like? You just like I don't know. I've uh I've always seen this. I've ne got to say can't relate. Can't relate. Some of y'all just can't handle anything spicy apparently. This is a bat like a bathroom after Taco Bell. I I don't get it. I mean, I'm not judging you. You can, you know, it's like whatever. Oh, uh, fuck. Got it. Gotta hate that. Um, but yeah, I've never, uh, I've never found Taco Bell all that spicy. But like. Their, their sauce, their, even their hot sauce is like pretty sweet. But. You know, just might be a difference of like heat tolerance. 
Yeah. Fuck. I'm like going mega dumbass mode now. That's why I get for uh, talk about Taco Bell while I'm at the bell tower. Gargoyles. Oh shit, don't, oh, could fall off, don't fall. All right, we're good, we're good. We're not quite dead yet. Ah, oh, shit. Got greedy! All right, we got this. Yep, in the bag, it's over. Bye bye, sick. Almost got that first try, but oh well. Just kind of cursed after getting fucking phantom attacked, literally right outside the door. I guess. In retrospect, I should have probably just ran into the boss at that point, but, you know. Alright, that's one down. The tail is a positive thing. See you define or not. Sorry Dylan, when I ate Taco Bell, I spread rumors. I watched too much skibbity toilet when eating Taco Bell. I see. You didn't cut the tail. Oh yeah, no, I know I could have cut the tail, but uh I didn't need the gargoyle uh, thing. Look at this dude. Greetings. I am Oswald of Karina. Yet magnanimous eloquence. Come if out of concern. Or to accuse. Is it a funny man? Or indeed all things. Your work will oh, wait. Should I might get the, uh, might get at least a gesture. Cool. Guess we're on the topic also uh oh wow they're just like ready to go i've never seen them do that whoa <laughs> that's pretty funny um so it's not so funny it's kind of a bad position All right. Oh, 
Well, that was rather silly. Sick. We should be using use the fucking gray handler now. Yeah, we're on the topic though. What's the uh, what's the hardest game that you guys have ever beaten? You know, like in your opinion, what's the hardest game you've ever beaten? And did you end up enjoying it by the end? Did you like it? Difficulty kind of ruin it for you. Hey Dylan, big fan. Why do you feel it necessary to review Linkara's book in such depth? Most people aren't interested enough to watch them judging by the few counts. Um, just because I wanted to, to be perfectly honest. Um, no one else had covered the books in depth um, before, and um, I wanted to do that um i'll get to the more popular stuff like the lightbringer and whatnot afterward um but yeah just want to have that there in full that way cause I, mainly because when i looked up stuff about the books i found that there's no videos really or anyone covering them um so i kind of wanted to have a video there for people that are interested in learning about the books um, so they can kind of have them sort of semi summarized um, and like learn the history about them without having to actually read them themselves so yeah that's pretty much why Sick. We can fucking use the Zui handler now. We're cooking, bros. We are in money. Now, I think this guy. Uh, yep, there he is. Gotta get rid of this asshole real quick. So let me do that real quick, and then I can get, like, um, the, uh, the ring he leaves behind. boost for our health and stamina. The first game I ever played was the game A Medieval. Oh, I never, never heard of that one. Here, uh, you say Crash Bandicoot, I guess? Yeah, fair enough. Why do they make the mid-roll so ugly? Okay, so from here, um, got a couple options. Ooh, do I want to go to Quaylag yet? I am going to say not yet. Normally I might, but, um, 
I'm gonna play a little safe because uh, don't want to get stuck down there during a live stream. That'd be pretty. Uh, you know, we would be there a while at that point. So we're gonna go kill uh, the moonlight butterfly instead. Fight the four kings or Finwin. The four kings would be pretty cool. Uh, not doing that though. That's that sounds like absolute like hell at the level I'm at currently. Um, Pinwheel, I always just save him for later. To be honest, whenever I uh, I'm gonna go down to the tomb of the giants anyway. I guess I could do it early, but. Then I gotta go back through it all over again. It's just like, ah. We rather go to the bone zone once rather than twice. Oh yeah, you know, ah, oh, fuck, we forgot to give the Firekeeper soul. Whoa, we'll, we'll give it on the way back. Please reply, please keep doing topics you find interesting. I feel these days people mostly discover new interesting things uh, when established YouTubers make videos about it. Well, thank you. Um, Victor, thanks so much. I plan on continuing. Uh, sick. All right. So, let's go kill the Moonlight Butterfly real quick. Speaking of that, um, of like, I guess, stuff coming up, um, obviously, uh, Disturbing Wikipedia Iceberg Part 2 will be coming out here sometime soon. Um, that one's a pretty fun one uh, for, like, the sheer variety of topics that one has. Um, be more bonus entry starting from the second video onward as well. Um, and also, oh shit! Is this okay? It's not death. Uh, doing a little bit of a fat roll in here, so I need to, or mid roll rather, so I need to level up some endurance as well next time around. Be sure to do that.
Oh, bug in the face. Oh, I see. Cool. Hell diver. Very cool. Oh, uh, that hell diver game is pretty popular at the moment. Haven't played that. Uh, but no, that's quite big at the current moment. Hopefully this can just go nice and easy. He's, uh, this boss is pretty simple, I say, as I'll definitely die after saying that. But um, it can take a little while just because it will take fucking forever for it to like land. What's y'all's uh, favorite Souls boss, by the way, in light of the this one? This boss um, is uh, much more fun with magic build because it um, doesn't take forever. Um, but uh, this is, uh, you know, it's just. This, one's, this boss is kind of. Oh, fuck. Don't die to this. Oh, and I died. Wow. I looked over at the chat. Well, that's okay. Let's 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 skip that shit. I don't want to go back to that. Um, put that bitch bug. Ludwig. Uh, favorite places in the game. So relax that. Yeah, Dark Guardian is really nice. Um, Dark Souls One is a really good game. In general. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ludwig is a really good boss. Yeah. Um, all right, we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna go straight to fucking Quilag. Fuck it. What I say? I knew as soon as I said that boss was easy, I was gonna die. Oh well, such is streaming, I suppose. Um, speaking of that, also, uh, of like the, I guess, videos I've made, 
What was like the one that you got like discovered my channel on? Always curious about that. Which video was your first and how long have you been uh watching my stuff? Pretty new, you've been around for a while. That sort of thing. YouTube Iceberg, like two or three years. Sick, sword. Also, thank you, by the way, for being uh, like a member for quite some time at this point. You're a fucking legend. Seriously. Uh, go through AVGN. Yeah, yep. Uh, know quite a few people discovered my channel through the AVGN documentary. Uh, Hyphon Puds. Maybe you retrospective vid or Cal Arcade, so just over a year now. Sick! Sick. Want to hear because you made some YouTube one? Well, awesome! You've been around for a little bit then with that. That's super cool. good vibes and great contents not gonna lie been inspiration to get into making similar style of content well that's awesome sword thank you so much i'm glad that you like my stuff and i hope that you do make something really do um it'd be super cool hey uh let's not forget the true master of video game reviewers pissed off at angry reviews yeah true uh yeah, I've taken inspo from Dylan, writing writing channel. I don't make the same content. Yeah, sick. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, Cherry's been like a long time like friend and fan of the channel. Be sure to check out her stuff too. She like makes animations. Um, and uh, I voiced in one of them at one point. So, super cool. Um, you're right, you're right. Nintendo shit cube. Yes. Started listening to your videos at work about a year ago pass the time since office work is so boring and long videos are great because I don't have to keep switching videos yeah that's true that's awesome I, I do actually get that a lot from a lot of people um, a lot of um, people um, like like listening to my stuff while they're working some people while they're drawing um, a lot of night shift people even like some truckers and Things like that. It's really cool. I was really happy to hear that, especially because um, I tend to like watch YouTube videos the most when I'm doing something creative, be it drawing or writing a script or really anything like that. And so um, I'm glad to be someone else's background noise and entertainment while they're doing that as well. Always very happy to hear that. Uh, you make great. Uh, animation. Yes, she does. Uh, through every though every video you made, you basically have the knowledge of uh, every page in Necronomicon. 
<laughs> well, thank you. I try my best to be comprehensive as possible. I don't know. I do get stuff wrong sometimes. Um, so, you know. But I do try to uh, make the best videos that I can. Um, it's like always a goal of mine whenever I make like a documentary. Um, is I want it to... Um, like either it either needs to be like the definitive documentary on that subject at the moment or it has to be like at least like you could like go into a topic and know nothing about it and by the end of the video you should like know everything about it um so yeah um uh, man i used to watch star wars as a kid today it's fallen off the rails and uh it's a late to yeah, um, I used to enjoy Star Wars movies back in the day as, like, a kid and teenager, you know, they were pretty fun, but, um, I, uh, since have kind of lost the spark for it, you could say, because of, like, the newer movies, and just in general, I just kind of, like, Maybe overexposure to it to some degree, too. Um, I still like the original movies a lot. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, it's like a combination between a lot of like bad sequels and then everyone talking about bad sequels and it just going on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. It's just like, oh. After a while. Just can't fucking take it anymore, man. No, no more fucking talk of Star Wars for fuck's sake. So yeah, that's kind of my uh, thoughts on the topic. Uh, what Dark Souls armor would you wear in real life? Like, put it on, then go to the store. I would do. Legitimately, if I could afford, like, them, um, probably a lot of them, being real, like, um, I'd, like, any, like, like, full-on, like, night set, um, would be sick, like, the, uh, in Star Souls 1, I can think of, like, uh, the black night set and the silver night set are pretty drippy, pretty cool. Um, I can't think of the names of every one of them, mind you, I'm gonna be real. Um, but yeah, in general, I would wear those. Anything that has like a big ass cape, especially if it's black, that's sick. I'll gladly wear that. Oh shit. I was almost toxic. I was almost, but not not quite. Sick. Um, well, let's, uh, let's, let's cook all these. For Dark Man's Safe, I've, uh, I think you've made the definitive YouTube iceberg. Can't be talking. Well, thank you. 
Um, I, uh, definitely tried my best. I know there is actually, like, a YouTube iceberg, like, a nice, like, not, like, a video, but, like, um, uh, oh, look at my fucking leg. That's, that, <laughs> we re we're really relaxed right now. Um, but, uh, uh, there's, like, a YouTube iceberg that has, like, over, like, a thousand entries or some shit. Um, and some people have requested I do that one. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be quite a lot, but, you know, uh, there is that, I guess. But, um, thank you. Um, if it's like they don't understand things are allowed to end, not everything needs to be seemingly endless epic. Yeah, true. A lot of things are better. Honestly, a lot of things are better when they're dead. Legitimately. Because then you can, like, appreciate it as a whole. Um, it's kind of like a... I think it's, like, just a nice truth pill in general. Um, that, uh, some of the best stuff ever created was allowed to die. You know? It was allowed to, like, be cool, have its stuff, and then end. Uh, thank you, No Name, for the two dollars or two euros or whatever. Uh, edibles. They're a thing. Cool. Um, is that what you're doing right now? Are you doing some edibles, bud? Um, let's see. Favorite Godzilla design? That's hard to say. I don't know. Probably, off the top of my head, Shin Godzilla is probably one of my favorites. But also, um, the design in Godzilla vs. Biollante, really, really sick. And also, uh, the design in Godzilla 2000 is also really sick. Um, but I like a lot of them. Uh, if you intend to do another crash stream, by the way, I really enjoyed that one. Probably. I'll probably do that at some point. Um, I definitely intend on playing some more of those, and I want to do some Spyro the Dragon as well. Um, so those would be very fun to get through. And then, um, there's, like, some indie horror games. Um... And uh, indie RPGs I'd like to jump into, like RPG Maker horror games, that sort of thing. So kind of, if you're like aware of that, like Eve and um, fucking Out Oni, that sort of thing, you can kind of expect that sort of thing um, in the future. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, at this point, the world would be better off if Disney died and never returned. Yeah, it'd be pretty. Cool. It'd be pretty based if Disney was destroyed, honestly. Would you rather experience the life of the first human being to ever live, or experience the life of the last hu human being uh, to die? Hmm. That's a good question. Um. Well, I mean, I guess, the, I guess the last one, because then you're like, you get to see the f like the finale of humanity. You're like the cl the climax, you know. You kind of already know what's going to happen a little bit with the, with the first one, right? But you get to see its end. Who gets to say that, right? You get to see humanity die. That's sick. So probably that one. Um, gives us time to reflect and appreciate it. Then, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, it does. Spiral perspective? Oh yeah, yeah, there'll definitely be a spiral one in the future. I guess I should note too, I did I do have like like I know a lot there's a lot of people that want more of the crash retrospective, and I promise that is coming. Those videos take some time to do. Um, but I do I uh I do plan on having those come out here soon because uh we want to do a couple more stuff like that, like Spyro and, uh, you know, Dark Souls, actually. I do plan on doing a retrospective on the first Dark Souls, actually. Um, and, um, uh, I know that's, there's, like, a lot of those on YouTube. Um, something that I kind of plan on doing is I wanted to do it from the perspective also of, like, someone who has, like, played it many times, but also, like, talk about the experience of playing the game with different builds. Um, and how that, 
like changes a lot of the the uh, uh, the uh, design of the game, some of the choices you have to make, that sort of thing. Um. So, are we still fat rolling? We're, we're, I mean, we're, we're doing a little better, I guess, but. Uh, any other songs? It's like... Do a lot of dirties. Cool, cool, cool. Um, perhaps... Yeah, cool. Uh, enjoy those edibles, I mean. Um, I also can't choose a specific favorite because I like Crash and parts of each design. Uh, oh, sorry. I have a favorite because I, I like certain parts of each design. Uh, uh, Hi, I'm new to the stream. Well, hello, uh, Ben B. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel in general. Uh, not, gonna, not gonna lie, I could fuck up a bowl of Estes soup. Yeah, they'd be pretty sick. I think, because, like, Estes is, like, fire. It's, like, sun. It's sun juice. It's, like, fire water. So, basically, it's a big fucking bottle of hot sauce. Like, spicy-ass hot sauce. Sounds delicious. I love Estes soup. I'd eat that shit up right fucking now. No, diff there are no original ideas, just different. I mean, yeah. Really, um... It's like a general. I'd say like a good... Uh... Uh... Thing with that. And in regards to like uh, the Dark Souls thing too. Um... Like... I just want to like give my thoughts on it and sort of share some perspectives. I've not seen some of the other Dark Souls. Uh, retrospectives, though many of them are quite good, so I'm not like throwing shade or anything like that. Um, but uh, there's some stuff I uh, always like wanted to see someone talk about more. Um, so sort of similar like the crash. I know a lot of people like neglected to really talk about the relics in depth and how. <laughs> Fuck, caught me like fucking talk about crash. That's what I get. Um, but um, talking about um the relics and how they change the design the philosophy of the game and like the level design and stuff. Um, I know a lot of people just sort of talked about them as like a secondary thing. Um, and so you know, there's like stuff like that. Uh, do I have anything to fucking get rid of this shit? Cool. I fucking don't. Oh, I just gotta fucking eat it, don't I? Alright. We should still be okay to probably make an attempt at Quay Lag. Um, we're gonna, like, ins we're gonna in fucking enlist the help of fucking Mandrid the Maneater. That'll probably help a little bit. Um... But yeah, I was gonna say, just like a random thing in general, when writing stuff, or when making like anything, one of my biggest like tips is don't worry about being original. Just worry about it being like good and making sense. Worry about it being like interesting rather than original. No one's that dazzled by originality. They are dazzled by, like, good shit, though. It can also happen to be original, or more original than the average thing, you know? But it doesn't have to be, either. Okay, cool. We're doing pretty good damage. I was, I was like a little worried about that, but uh, 
We should be good. Wow, Mandrid's just like... Or Mildred, rather. Not Mandrid, sorry. Um, she's just like fucking around in that lava. She's having a fucking good old time. All right, yeah, distractor, Mildred. Come on, get her. yeah, get some good fucking slices in. Sick, 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 sick. Wow, what was that? That was. Weird. Alright, cool. Wow, I like, uh... For some reason in my head, I was thinking this was gonna be a lot more, like... Be a much longer battle than what it was. I guess I was, like, thinking, because I've, like, gone here with, like, a more dexterity-based build. And I think that was where, that was, like, my problem, I think. It was just, like, that one took a lot longer. Alright, second bell rung. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let me see here. Let me catch up with the chat here. Um, I'm really, honestly, I'm really surprised that from software slash Bandai have attempted to obtain the rights to make a Berserk game. But, um, they, have, they have. Oh, yeah, like, I would love a Berserk game by FromSoft would be amazing. I would love that immensely. Um,. Don't know if that'll ever happen, but it'd be pretty cool. Um, um I think my argument over uh, argument on AVGM being different rather than a thing people grew out of, based on the fact that you can tell he wasn't a part of your childhood, even though he pretends to be uh, to this day the best argument that hasn't been topped or. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, I, uh... Quite proud of that video. Took a lot of time on it. Um... Wanted to, like, uh... Be sure back then that, uh... You know... Um... I was, like, fair. Um... Move out of the way, dummy. Um, so I want to be, I want to be fair with that video, but also like address the many criticisms I have over, um, you know, like the, the, uh, the series. Uh, for more recent stuff. So sick. Another firekeeper soul. This, this, uh, this little, th these guys, uh, on my, like, uh, like, fucking pyromancer. Oh my god. Whoa! Getting felted by this fucking bug. Um, these guys, um, it's pretty funny. Um, of my, like, Pyromancer build. They're, like, pretty useful. Um. But, uh. Not so much. On the, uh. The, uh. Yeah, no. This build, rather. Just a free Firekeeper soul. Get your Estus. Reinforce some more. I'm cool with that. Uh, your takes always fascinate me. Well, thank you, Sword. Thank you. Um, 
I try my best to like, you know. Uh, let's see, smash your pass, Mo. Uh, I'm gonna pass, cause I'm not gay, you know. But you know, I can understand being in the, being in the Mo. He's not. He's got those man titties, you know. So, probably someone's probably into that. He's got that boogie build, you know. Uh, that's somebody's thing, probably. Um, sorry about that. Atlas Rising of the Shield Hero RPG would be sick. Okay, so let's fucking level up some more. Uh, we're gonna dump a bunch of shit into strength again. Gotta become a powerhouse god. Strength. It's the only way to play. Um let's get some free souls real quick. Uh Smo is canonically ripped as shit under that his armor. Ah, if this is the case, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, you know, you like that, then. I've never heard of this lore, but maybe that's the case. I just assume he was a big fat ass, to be honest. Speaking of like berserk and shit like that, um, any y'all into anime? Hmm. You like anime? You like weeb shit? What kind of anime do you like? What's your favorite? Oh wow! I didn't know that was one shot. Fuck one hit kill. Fuck. All right. Anyway, yeah, what's y'all's favorite fucking anime? If you're into anime. Aw, oh, shit. Nothing. Well, we missed our chance to get the easy kill. That's fine. Uh... Is this an out-of-season April Fool's joke? No? You making fun of me right now? Huh? No, it's not. No, I, uh, I'll say, I'll repeat what I said at the beginning of the stream, um, I plan on doing, um, uh, like, live streams at the, like, in the middle and at, at the end of every month, here 
on, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, like, the plan currently. Um, and I may do more in addition to that. We'll see how it goes. Um, some of the streams will be on, like, games. Um. Wow. Alright, well, fuck this guy. We'll just come back later then, I guess. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess we just don't, I don't have the fucking health and shit for this, I guess. Um, normally you can just, like, go, uh, oh, let's, like, okay, hold on. I might be able to save. But yeah, uh, we'll be, be doing um, uh, game streams, but also uh, there's going to be like live dumpster dive streams where we just like look at a bunch of like uh, interesting or um, cringe or whatever videos um, on YouTube. Uh, some of them will be uh, curated by a good friend of mine. Um, ahead of time, and there will be some, like, viewer requested stuff. The viewer requested stuff, I'll also have to, like, check to make sure it's not, you know, uh, too much for the thing, you know? But a lot of things should be, like, open from there. This interesting choice. Uh, I like the one where they fight. Cool, I like that anime. Not super versed in anime yet, but Full Metal Alchemist 2003 hit pretty close to home for me. Haven't finished Brotherhood and Shield Hero. It was uh, also pretty good. Uh, yeah, Full Metal Alchemist is really fucking good. So is Bro like Brotherhood. Both those highly recommend. Um. Um, you know what? You stream the Batman Arkham series is pretty fun. Maybe. One time, as a three-year-old, I slammed the door on my cousin's pinky toe, and it came off. Well, that's cool, bud. Uh, why'd you do that? <laughs> was that an accident? Or did you just, like... <laughs> did you decide he doesn't deserve his toe anymore? I was three, I don't remember. Okay, right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Fuck. This boss is a lot more difficult when you don't, can't do the one hit strat thing. But it's okay. We'll try to fucking manage still. Never mind. We will not try to manage. We will come back here later when we have better stuff. <laughs> Shit. 
Yeah, normally, normally you can just like run back and uh, he like jump on the cliff and you can like hit him off the ledge from there. Um, but uh, we fucked up. I should say rather, I fucked up. And uh, yeah, won't be doing that this playthrough. But that's okay. We can just come back when we got better shit. It's not necessary to get him now anyway. Uh, thank you, Buttermeat. Took a ton of damage from that roll. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That is your cannery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you mentioned being homeschooled. I have thought about homeschooling own kids. Any tips or warnings? Um, well, bear in mind, I'm not like a... a a father so like you know that's a little um i don't feel like i'm the most knowledgeable in that regard with that but um i would just say in general that um teaching it would be like probably be a bit of a learning process for both like your kid and you to some degree and, um, yeah, just get creative, um, you know, you don't necessarily, I, you don't have to necessarily, like, learn everything from just textbooks and stuff, a lot of it can come from, from, like, documentaries and movies, um, internet research, that sort of thing, um, and, uh, yeah, I guess, above all else, try to make it fun for the both of you um kind of the one of the benefits of homeschooling over normal school is that there's no pressure and uh you can kind of really hyper focus in on topics that uh you know you're super interested in and like learn everything there's about it and if there's something you struggle with you can also take the time to focus in on that a little bit and like get better at it um, so yeah, I guess that would just be some general stuff. Also, I'd say, in, uh, you know, if, uh, encourage, like, being there, the... You know, if he's, like, interested, if they're, like, interested in something, um, encourage them to, like, read more about it and, like, look stuff up with them, be a part of the, the whole thing. Yeah. Don't let them watch YouTube unrestricted. My mom let me do. I would say in general, um, maybe it's a bit of a hot take. Um, don't let them do anything on the internet unrestricted. Period. Be a part of their like, you know, be a part of their life in all regards. Like, 
don't let them just like use the internet um, willy nilly and shit. Um, Cause if you do, um, there's a lot of a lot of bad people, and not just rumors, but definitely a lot of those. But yeah, just in general, um, you know, you brought them into this world, you might as well help guide them as much as you can. Sisters currently homeschooled. I recommend gauging how and the spin in which um, they learn and care activities to that. Also, be attentive of any potential learning issues and plan around that. Yeah. Thanks for reply. I don't have kids yet. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, got both the bells rung. Um, I guess we could, yeah, let's go, let's, we can do Sentence Fortress. Let's go do that. Get the big ass gut sword while we're at it. Now, I remember when I first played this game, Sen Fortress was the place I got stuck at the longest for a while. It was the, um, like, it was the spot, um, where I was, like, stuck. It's like, fuck, how'd I get through this? Um, but once I beat it, the rest of the game honestly felt a lot easier. I think, I think every person kind of goes through that with Dark Souls, um, all these games. There's a spot where you're gonna get really stuck. And then, once you get past that, it's like the rest of the game starts to fall into place. And there might be a few spots where it's still hard, don't get me wrong, but... Um, it just kind of clicks in your head. There was Sekiro, it was like that, but like a thousand. When I first started playing Sekiro, I was so fucking confused, and I had no idea what the he how the hell would do fucking, like, do anything, basically. Um, because of, like, how different the battle system is in that game. But then once I got it, I got it, and then the rest of the game, like, fell into place. And I was like, oh, I get it now. This is actually, like, fun game and shit now. Um, you asked earlier what anime we liked. I love Kengan, Ashura, and Omega. Honestly, one of the best martial arts manga series I've ever read. Sadly, Netflix butchered it when adapting it. Interesting. I've never read that or watched that for that matter, but um that's uh, really cool. Um Always good to have a plan. Yeah, in general, I would say that's a pretty good idea. Hmm. So, besides my channel, because I guess obviously if you're here, you probably probably watched my channel at least a little bit. Um, what's some other YouTubers that you guys enjoy that you like watching? You know, be they long or short type of content? What kind of thing do you enjoy? Whoa. 
Hopefully we get through this pretty easily. I am a little under leveled here, not gonna lie. But uh we can try. Close as fuck. <laughs> this guy, this fucking snake, this guy's a fucking asshole. from a cup because I thought it was water. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry to hear about it, but... Damn, I was hoping it would like knock him off. Ah, oh, there we go. Got him. Oh shit. Like I said, this guy's a fucking asshole. One of the most devious placements of an enemy in the game. My dad made me hide a machine, a machete, for no reason. Oh, that's cool. Uh, for YouTubers, I had a wide spectrum for gaming. Um, Wrecked Wizard for tech stuff. Jim Bond Vintage Gamer, LGR. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I enjoy well-made retrospectives on games, shows, movies, toy lines, etc. YouTube is mostly drama reactions and podcasts, so I find new stuff is hard. I see. Yeah, that's fair enough, fair enough. Um, the informative stuff is depending on the topic. Yeah, I'll be like real, when it comes to like uh, <laughs> documentaries and shit, like I, uh, I, I watch a lot of stuff. Um, as you probably 
like know a little bit from like my uh like best videos of the year videos kind of get like a taste for some of the stuff that I watch um but um I'd say in general I do tend to enjoy like internet documentaries about like it can be about really anything to be honest as long as it's like it's like well made um i'll like i will legit watch a documentary about something i've never fucking heard of or like even like a video game series or something um just like learn about it um but also like obviously like internet people uh Lol cows, um, anything like that, really. Just a fair bit of uh, Turkey Tom and the second channel Tom Dark for that reason. Come on, man. Come down here. Get down here, bud. Yeah, sick. Hello Dylan, uh, I've been a fan of yours since the YouTube iceberg and would always sleep to your videos sometimes and whenever you play the video, whenever you play the videos, you scare the shit out of me, but it was fun so I forgive you. Well thank you, uh, Giovanno, thank you so much and glad you like my stuff. I know quite a few people like to uh, go to sleep to my stuff so. Magic Mush and uh, Tobup are also good. Yeah, Magic Mush is really good. I've not seen Tobup, I think. Any obscure games slash movies, TV series that you like that but barely anyone knows of? Um, there's a few. Uh, I guess one that comes to mind. Um. Is uh, come on, bitch, get in here. This is like not that obscure, but not a lot of people aren't as like aware of it. Is um, uh, the anime big the big O. It's like one of my favorite pieces of media. Period. Um, but uh. It's not as it's like it's 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 well known in some circles in some areas, but I think a lot of general public don't know as much about it, and they tend to like kind of look at it as like, um, it's like oh, it's like a uh, mecha bat like Batman with mechas in it. It's kind of the general thing on that series, um, which I think is uh, a real shame to like. Uh, simplify it to that point because um it's really not that for one if you go in with those, those expectations you're gonna be really fucking like confused at some point um but yeah it is like really 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 good um as far as other stuff goes i did mention it earlier i know it's not technically something that's like it's not obscure, but it's, it's it's not really obscure so much as it just came out. But I just again just recently um played uh the game uh, Felvedeek um and um I really highly recommend that. It's a really fun experience. Um, don't want to spoil too much about it, but um it's like a uh psychedelic sort of comedic um 
medieval RPG game. It's good shit. Highly recommend it. There's probably is others, I just, I'm, just, I'm blanking at the moment on them, but, uh, yeah. Looks like a Reaper of X, okay. Fair enough, sword. Um... Your video on the back rooms was also great. Did you ever f uh, feel like you would do a follow-up to that one day? Or do you think the back rooms have been coming largely to the I've considered it. It's not off the table. Um, it's just if I do it, I'd want to like definitely do it right. Because I, I like had like story. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so fucking stupid. I thought I was between things there. Wow. Ah oh, shit! Wow, that's that's uh, that that's brutal. That is fucking brutal. Um, but um, yeah, I I definitely um have considered uh doing a possible follow up to that. Um, but. You know, we'll see. Um, I kind of like, because I kind of like added my own little additions to it as well. So I sort of like made my own little, like, version of the back rooms in a way. Um, and that was a lot of fun. So I'd probably, I'd probably do more of that where there's, like, more st story and narrative stuff. Um, so again, I know not really seen it as of yet, but similar to... What I'm doing with um, the Newgrounds Iceberg, which, yes, that's still a thing, by the way. Um, it's just uh, delayed a little bit because of, uh, like, the, uh, like, extra stuff I'm doing for it, like, story-wise and, um, like, uh, well, let's just say there, there's, like, a lot more stuff in the Newgrounds Iceberg beyond just it being an iceberg. There's, like, actual, like story there's animatics um all sorts of good shit like that so you'll see what i mean closer to time but um yeah with a back rooms part two type thing i would definitely want to have more um uh narrative stuff my own additions and shit Speaking of icebergs, though, um, I've not really mentioned this anywhere as of yet, um, but uh, in addition to the Wikipedia iceberg, one, another, um, and like the Newgrounds one, again, the Newgrounds one's going to be like the next, like, big series one, the Wikipedia one will be like, probably like three parts or something. Um, another one I was considering doing is the ritual post, uh, ritual pasta iceberg so it's kind of like a again if you like the creepy pasta one it'd be kind of similar to that one but for ritual for like ritual games and shit like that specifically um and i'd probably also try out a few of the rituals myself not all of them because some of them require a lot of steps and just be a pain in the ass to do in general um but uh, i'd probably do some of the rituals that as well so if you're interested in that uh, let me know so I'll probably end up doing that as well here very soon I know you guys really like the creepy pasta stuff and I do too so 
Uh, it'd be fun to do something like that again, but on a more specific scale rather than just general creepypastas, if you know what I mean. Alright, we're almost back to where we were. Oh, that was, uh, super dumb of me. But, it's okay. Playthrough wouldn't be complete without dying in Sen's Fortress at least fucking once. Or twice. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We got it. Let me finally get a bonfire. Alright, sick. Alright, let me check the chat here. Um, out of that fucking place. Um, dog eating dog uh, is the best YouTuber, objectively. Will not t debate this. Dog eating dogs. So, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've actually considered um, talking about him in a future YouTube dumpster dive video. Um, he is quite legendary. I must, uh, I'll give you that. Do you think uh, crude, edgy humor has much of a place on YouTube anymore? Not well-crafted jokes, but the people just say slur and that's a punch. I mean, I think everyone has a place on YouTube, really. Um, I like, you know, well-made shit. I like dark humor. I like, but I also like crude, like dumbass shit too. You know, that can be funny in the right place. Um, so I think, I think everyone should be allowed to do what they want. Um, frankly. So, that's kind of my, I guess, general take on that. Um, completely fair. The backrooms have basically become their own unique storytelling device. There's, like, at least three or five versions. Yeah, there is, yeah. Well, yeah, Sekiro made an iceberg like that, but you'll make it better. Well, oh, well, thank you. Thank you, man. Um, I'll, um, I'll definitely do that in the future. Um, also, yeah, another creep boss iceberg would be awesome. Sick, sick. I'm glad you think so. Um, I'll definitely do the ritual pasta one here soon then, because um, I think that'll be a nice, fun one to do. Um, funny snake place, yeah. Do you think YouTube has had a golden era, or has it just evolved naturally through different phases? Um, I don't. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of... I think it's just it's just kind of how it goes. Like, I know a lot of people consider, like... Some people consider, like, 2007, 2008 to be the golden era. Because it was, like, raw back in the day. Like, YouTube, right? Um, there was no fucking expectations. It was just pure throwing shit at the wall. And then a lot of people consider 2016 to be the best. Like, the golden era. Because it's, like... You get away with the most stuff. There's like a lot less censorship, and you could just kind of like do whatever you want. Um, I'm kind of of the mind that yeah, I think those are both you know like, like I like all that shit, um, but I don't know if there's a golden era or not. I do tend to really enjoy and love old shit just because I grew up with that, and that's what I identify. It's like that that was the culture, you know. That I identify with. That sort of shit. Um, so. 
But I mean, I mean, I'm I enjoy the shit that's being made now too. There's like a lot of good YouTubers, a lot of good shit. There's always people making good shit, you know. It's not like a bat, a like a gold era in that sense. There is like a gold era as far as like censorship, I guess, and that shit kind of goes. Cause yeah, the censorship is pretty fucking cringe. Um, but as far as like content, there's always good shit being made. There's always bad shit being made too. Um, fuck, I deal that a little bit too much. Um, I fucked around and found out. Um, but um. Yeah, uh, in general, though, um, you know, if you're ever, like, sparse for, like, oh, man, there's, like, no good fucking content on YouTube, you're probably not looking in the right place, because there is always good shit. Um, not to mention, like, is there some genres that also, like, have, like, gone way bigger these like as only more recently like indie animation for example like i'd say we're like in like a really good time for that where we're getting like full-on productions um from like teams of people making these like animated pilots and series that are like not only of like TV quality, but honestly better in some regards when it comes to writing and characters and like, you know, being shit that people actually want to see. Cause also it's like, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it can be like shit made for adults as well, but not just strictly, um, made for adults because it's like crude or something. Um, but maybe for adults because it's got, like, m more mature themes and shit. I guess sort of similar to, like, anime and shit like that in that regard. So, yeah. Um, I'd say now is, like, a pretty good fucking time for that. I'm always a big fan of that shit. Boys and girls, we're about to go fucking get the gut sword. Uh, let me check one. Can't wait for book four. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, it, book four is gonna be fucking sick. That last, the, the I will say this: book four of Linkara is um. Actually, very interesting, um, because it's pretty different from the other three books because it takes place in like the real world, um, like Earth rather, um, and um, in general, it's uh, it's got some, it's got a lot more. If you like the rants from the other books, where it's like crazy rants about politics and the like, there's like so much more of that. In the, in the fourth book. So much more. But also, there's some things that Lewis kind of was cooking on in the last book. Don't want to reveal what, but there's some good shit, actually. So, so Dylan, I found out that Levels planned... Um, to, uh, Lewis planned to do a fifth Angel Armor book back in the 2010s. That makes sense, um, based on stuff in the fourth book, actually. Um, there's a Tumblr comment by Lewis himself. I can share you where I saw sure if you want to like share that with me um I would recommend doing it either in the comment section in this thing or you can like DM it to me via fucking Twitter or wherever um so I can properly like look at that because that would be pretty cool but yeah I did get that I, I did uh get that by the end of, like, without spoiling things with, by the end of the fourth book I did kind of uh 
figure that, to be perfectly honest. All right, we got the big ass sword. Hell yeah. Now, let me see. I'm trying to remember what we need. What do we need for the gut sword? We got the right strength? We sure fucking do! Aw, oh, yeah! Guts time. Good shit. Invaded, but all right, fuck it. Let me see the chat. Um, I agree that there's always good stuff here, and you just have to find it. Um, has there been a video you fondly remember but can't find anymore? Happens to me a lot. Um, sometimes that happens, yeah. Sometimes I, I, I can find it again, but there are some where, um, like really old that are sadly lost to time. Um, Trying to think of one offhand. Um, there's a few from way back when. Um, if I remember one, I'll I'll note it. But yeah, uh, definitely a few that are kind of lost to the sands of time. Um, uh, my PC sucks so much I can't run Roblox macro. I see. That's sad. Sorry about that, bud. I wish I had the confidence that Linkara does. Well, you know, uh, all you gotta do is just go for it, I guess. Come on, do your shit. That's one thing you can't take away from Lewis is um it takes a lot of guts to like you know write and finish a novel and like actually especially at that age but also he like it's not just the novel but also like uh you know the comic too The truth is, if you like, if you like got up and put a fedora on right now, you probably, and, you, and you're like, I'm going to own this shit right now. I don't care what anyone says, I'm going to wear this fucking fedora with pride. And no one can fucking stop me. You will, you will have harnessed the power of Lewis, and you will be able to do something great. That's the truth. You can't do it ironically, though. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta fucking look at me. You need to put on the fucking fedora. And say, yes, I'm good with this. I'm the Fedora Man now. Okay? You do that, you can do it. You can become just like Lewis. Wow, that's a lot. 
It's a lot of health. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, he did. That's too bad. That's alright. We're right near him. Here you go. Then. Okay, I'll check that out then, Kevin. As soon as I can. I'm going to summon that one guy to help us, because otherwise it might take a little while. Did you really hit me with the Zuko? That's rough, buddy. Y yeah, I did. <laughs> My schizo theory is that Lewis had gave up on books because of the Channel Awesome movies, and his interest drifted when he participated in Kickassia. Um. That's true to an extent, to be honest. I think the, like, the, the real thing is that, um, Lewis just, like, had, like, a lot more success with his channel, you know? And, like, with Ch Channel Awesome, and that was what, that was making him money. People, like, knew him at that point. And, um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but there's, like, something within this fourth book that I think is very telling... Uh, about the history regarding it, that it makes real a lot. It makes a lot of sense. I'll just say that why he stopped making them, and just decided to do the like con like video thing more often. Um, yeah, I think it just comes down to like you know uh, his time is like he's more preoccupied with that stuff. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that necessarily. You know. Um, It's clearly what people, like, knew him for. Um. Alright, let's go. Wow, I forgot how much damage that guy does. Wow, he just completely whiffed that. Okay, well, cool. We'll just take the easy victory, I guess. If Linkara had more humility, things might have turned out better for him. Perfect example of a guy who is smart but can't reach his full potential due to his hubris. I mean, here's the thing about Lewis. I don't want to, like, get too far deep into it because, like, a lot of my thoughts are going to be um, more reflected in the retrospective when I can talk about it in full. Um, I think Lewis made some mistakes regarding how he handles criticism and um, people kind of joking about him. Um, and he's like, you know, and, you, know y you can't take the green M&M thing away from him. That's something that he's got to live with, live and die with at the end of the day. However, I do think some people do give Lewis a bit more of a hard time than maybe is warranted or deserved. Um, I genuinely do think that. Um, because 
at the end of the day, the worst thing he's done is he's made a couple like some like he made like a cringe web comic, and he's made a couple like cringe videos along the way, I guess. Um, but he has consistently tried his best, and while he can't take the criticism very well, um, there is also a lot of like cr like there's like some crazy a logs connected with Lewis as well. Um, and people that are, like, dedicated to his downfall to such a degree that I can, that's just, like, not even close to a lot of the other Channel Awesome members, um, that I kind of feel like, on some level, um, uh, I can get why he is so, like, I don't want to do, I don't, I don't want anything to do with any of these people, sort of opinion, um, I'm not saying it's all warranted, but I think it's a little bit more complex than what most people give it credit for, and I hope to showcase that when the full retrospective is there. Um, so yeah, um, definitely has a bit of hubris still, but yes, um, just thought I'd note that. After reading the books myself, I've seen that Lewis, by book three, was pulling a Rise of Skywalker maneuver and retcon the fuck out of what happened in book one and two. Um, I guess maybe a little, but, uh, alright, was, uh, this is the exact part of the game where I got stuck because I didn't realize you could walk on the first bridge of the window. Yeah. That's fair. A lot of people get stuck here because of that. Um, pretty funny. Uh, let me see here. While we're on the topic, now, I am saying right now, we've been going for about almost three hours, and we're about, ooh, I'd say, halfway through the game right now. So we might start to uh, slow down here a little bit at this point. Um, may come back to this playthrough again and finish this out. Um, but we have been going for a little bit. Um, but we won't end the stream just just yet. Um, but, um, I do, I did want to ask you guys, um, of the upcoming stuff I got going on, um, what, what's, what are you most excited for, I guess? Um, oh, this isn't, like, a thing to, like, uh, like, oh, whatever's most popular is going to be what comes, it's, it's going to come in whatever order, um, I'm making it in, honestly. But, um, of these... Um, what's, what are you most excited for out of these, I guess, four things? Um, uh, one being the new grounds iceberg. Uh, secondly being the ritual pasta iceberg. Third being, um, the Lightbringer slash Linkara retrospective and all the stuff that kind of goes with that. Um, and fourth being the Crash Bandicoot retrospective, um, the next part of that. Which one are you most excited for and why? <sighs> Car, new grounds, crash, ritual. Okay. Actually, I guess I could do a... I guess technically I could do a poll. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, I've never done that before. On, uh... Let me see. Let's 
see if I can't get that done. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, okay. We can do like a um Disciplines, all bunch of that. Um how do you do that? Mm -mm. Kind of learning this as well myself, so I can kind of have this in the future. Um, I don't know how to fucking do it, but I'll uh, I'll figure that out next time, I guess. <laughs> uh, yo, Charlie Alexander, welcome. Something else I was gonna note. Um, is, um, going forward, um, again, just want to note this one last time, um, for anyone who's, like, coming in at the end, um, uh, be doing streams, uh, at the end of each month and the middle of each month from here on out. Um, I'll try to have them, like, pre-scheduled ahead of time a little earlier so you can kind of know what I'm going to be doing and, um, you know, what sort of stuff expect and there'll probably be some more spontaneous stuff along the way um so uh yeah uh it's between new grounds and ritual pasta icebergs for me sick hype for linkara awesome Sick. Um, alright. Uh, let me see here. What time is it? It is 6.15. So, I think at 6.30 it'll have been three hours exactly. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and ask you guys, like, a, a general FAQ. If you have any questions for me regarding the channel, content, um, uh, just general shit could be about anything really um that's the time like uh go and ask me in over the next like 10 or so minutes before we like close out i feel like linkara would have liked uh nekopara and ready player one uh maybe maybe i wonder if he's like talked about that at all um, no, he definitely has some things like Ready Player. He, he, there's like a Ready Player One scenario kind of in the third book, so kind of makes sense. Um, We may, we might, now, I need to check into this. Um, we may also um, do a future stream closer to time when we're doing, like, the actual Linkara content, like his videos. We may do a stream where we look at some of his videos um, together. Uh, now, the one problem is with that, I need to double check this. I'll have to check some stuff in my, um, 
YouTube studio. Um, I think Lewis actually has copyright stuff on his videos to the point where I do know when I make a video on him, like the actual content of his, I'm going to have to like do some filters and or like put the copyright owl shit on there. Um, because unfortunately it gets copyright claimed, um, pretty quickly. Um, which I mean, fair enough, but yeah. But I don't know how if that would work with a stream, if that would be possible. We shall see. Um, see the logistics behind that. Pretty much asked everything already. Thanks for the stream. Excited for what's next to come. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, his name is Geju Gejumpu. Sorry, I fucking probably butchering your username, but thank you. Uh, enjoyed having you here today. What do you think the end game is for retro gaming YouTube? What's going to happen to people like Path to NES Punk, ABGN, etc.? I mean, I don't know. Uh, I guess they'll keep making videos until they die or something, or they like stop doing it. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of just one of those things where if they're like still making stuff and people like watching it, then I guess they'll keep making videos. Um, or they might retire. You know, like a lot of YouTubers have been retiring this year. That's like been kind of a a thing a lot of people talked about. I know Matt Pat retired um, among many other people. Um, I'm not really sure what the uh, like why that's the case. Uh, I guess just a lot of people getting like burnt out or tired. Uh, or maybe just a lot of people like made a bunch of bank and they're like ready to like take a rest and leave, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, I guess I could see maybe, I don't know if James would ever do that because James kind of seems like he's always creating stuff. Um, so I don't know if he would ever stop in that regard or truly retire, to be honest. So I think he'll be dead before he retires. Um, or at least a lot older. Um, I guess we'll see. Anything can happen. So in regards to, um... AVGN, I know a lot of people have asked me if I've read his book. I've, I've, uh, I know a couple highlights from it. Um, but I know a lot of people have asked me to cover his book. I may in the future. We'll see. We'll see. So the famous, uh, balls on the dick. Uh, part of it, if, if nothing else. New Amazon Prime, ship credits and downloads, read it on day one. Sick. Yeah, one of these days I'll get around to reading it in full, I suppose. Um, be very interesting. Um, content like that can be a little more tricky to do. Like, the Linkara books have been very tricky because kind of got to use either, like, quotes from the book a lot or got to use AI images um, or just, like, general, like, gameplay footage. So they're, like... They can be very difficult visually to uh, to do at times, um, but um, you know, I suppose I could probably do some stuff with his if I ever did that. Rick Howe made a pretty good video regarding the James Rolf book. Would recommend for those who care. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Um, did you see the video of uh, Joe Joe King about the gang dude? Yeah, I did. 
that was a pretty interesting video on that. Um, definitely hyper focused on like the mystery around him and stuff, and kind of like debunk some stuff about that. So that's very cool. I always enjoy videos like that where they kind of like tackle like a topic, but like they find out like new information regarding it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's always super cool. Definitely enjoyed that. What's up, Dylan? Um, would it be possible for you to do a live stream of uh, Smash Remix? Smash 64 mod, since it's on PC? Uh, well, yo, bright side Dylan. Um, uh... I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Um, nothing's off the table necessarily, but yeah, we'll 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 see. Uh, Moss Hive Network. It's sad how the month is ending. Well, I think it's. I don't think it's sad because it's like next month, more new shit. You know. I'm excited for this next month, um, cause um, got several big video plans, big stuff releasing, um, uh, be lots of fun. Um, there's also, I guess I should mention this. Uh, this is still like not exactly in a state where I want to like reveal too much, but there is a new type of video series I will be coming out with this year. Um, with, and the first entry and it should be maybe next month as in i don't know it'd either be april or may probably may if i'm being honest um in which i cover a topic um like kind of like from the outside in you'll you'll know more details about it here soon and probably in an upcoming stream when i have more stuff and examples of this a showcase but um expect some interesting stuff maybe you wouldn't expect from me um within the next uh coming month or two uh did you ever regret reading about something in your videos um nah to be honest um i mean there is like a lot of fucked up shit that i read for my videos i also just like know a lot of cursed knowledge in general because I, you know, I look up cursed shit as a hobby. I look up, like, random internet drama, shit that doesn't matter because it's funny. Um, so, yeah, I guess there's some shit I definitely regret seeing um, or knowing about, but, you know, it's not, like, that big of a deal. Um, will you ever... Uh, see, it's, it's, uh, it's more sad seeing tomorrow is April Fool's Day. I mean, you know, it's like whatever. But yeah, I guess there'll be some there'll be some trickery about probably today and tomorrow. More sad. Uh, will you be d seeing a video about Mr. Medic or someday? Um, I don't know. That would definitely be very fun to do. Um, but that's like so much, like so much to cover. Um. So, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't take it off the table, but, you know, it would definitely be interesting. Very interesting video series, but, yeah. Speaking of a Fool's Day, how come you never talked about Phil Vermel DSP in your YouTube Iceberg video? Huh. Guess I did. I, I don't remember. See, it's been so long since I made that Iceberg video, that series. Um,. I kind of forgot everything I covered. Um, I guess it just wasn't part of the iceberg, to be honest. That, that was before I really added bonus entries as much into them, because that was the first iceberg I ever did. So I just did it straight. Since then, I added, like, a ton of bonus entries and stuff. and go into much more detail. Um, so I probably would have, but uh, if I were to do that now. But yeah, that's probably why it wasn't on the actual iceberg itself. Um... Cursed internet. Let's see. You know, I really uh, don't like 
that Nick Bait guy since I have seen... Uh, yeah. No, that is definitely very cursed knowledge and content to know about. Very fucked up individual, obviously. Um, may he burn in hell. Thank you for your videos. I've been following you for at least three years. Wow, thank you, Charlie Alexander. Thank you for watching my stuff and supporting the channel. I'm always happy to see people. Been watching my stuff for a while. Very cool. It's part of why I wanted to do these streams more often so I can interact with you fellas more often. Um, yeah. Like, play cool shit and look at cool, maybe cringe shit. We'll see how it goes, you know? Um, I guess I should note also, um, just shameless shill, um, if you want to, like, know more about, like, deeper details regarding some of the upcoming projects, including, like, what's, what type of videos are coming out as they come out each month, um, and, like, behind-the-scenes stuff regarding icebergs and all that sort of shit, you can, um, subscribe or join my Patreon or become a channel member, and I update, um, usually two or three times a month with information and stuff. You also get to see videos one day early. That's pretty cool. Um, there'll probably be some extra stuff I'm going to be doing for that as well here very soon. Um, so, yeah. If you want to know more shit regarding the Newgrounds Iceberg, um, and, uh, I guess regarding that as well as like the Linkara stuff and any updates regarding that um, you can join those yo Diego Loren uh, Lorente yo we're about to end the stream Zach. welcome all the same um I guess that'll be it for today um got about halfway through the game so i'd say that's pretty good for now we may come back to this again on uh, for a playthrough and finish it up we could probably do it in another playthrough pretty easily um i don't know if it'll be the next stream we do though um i will be scheduling those and playing them out ahead of time so you'll know here soon um this next month um probably on april 1st or 2nd what i have planned um throughout the month and you can like schedule those and like for it to notify you whenever it's coming out um and yeah uh i hope all of you have a really good rest of the day rest of easter day and um try not to get fooled tomorrow by april fools don't be a dumbass don't be an april dummy you know um and uh i hope that you see you guys during some of the premieres i recognize quite a few of you from the premieres. It's always nice to see you guys. Um, and uh, in future live streams as well. It'll be lots of fun. Uh, in case you're wondering what the very next video is, it'll probably be the the fourth Linkara book. Because um, the script for that is already halfway done. So you can expect that in the next three or like four or five days. Something like that. I really hate those jokes. Uh, I'm sorry to say you do like long ago. I've been around since part one of the Creepypasta Iceberg, and I binged the director's cut last Halloween. Sick! I'm glad you enjoyed the Creepypasta Iceberg. Always happy to see stuff from you, dude. Well, thank you. Thank you. I like bagels too much. It's a problem. <laughs> But uh, with that said, um, I hope to see you guys next time. But um, until then, this has been Dylan the Night Owl. 
Uh, wait. I should probably, before I say that, I should probably, like, have my thing ready to close. Let me, like, let me, like, open that up so I can do it on time. Okay, here we go. All right. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Dylan the Night Owl flying off.